All right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So we got to talk about this. So literally, I think uh, the best possible thing is happening. Uh, Global is catching up to JP Dokkan. Um, and now I I've heard, you know, lots of discussion. You guys know, I've been saying this since 2016, that Global needs to catch up. You go back as far as you want to. I've been saying this since day one. Um, cause I was a global player before I switched to JP cause I was tired of waiting. Right now, again, this is very good. Um, I do think that global foresight was for the most part uh, overrated and not really actually a thing as much as people like to pretend it was, um, all of the best shit pretty much is coming to global and JP typically at the same time. I mean, not the anniversary itself, but pretty much a lot of the other stuff, golden week, Worldwide download celebration. I mean, we get Beast Gohan added to the game, and he was, you know, both versions at the same time, right? The Gammas were one week behind. For the, for the most part, all the major stuff has been coming at the same time. This is good. Um, I think that this will maximize the health um, feelings of frustration that global players will have. Um, I, I think that this is just very good overall. I, I don't really see any downsides. Um, perhaps global won't get some Pilaf Trove packs anymore, or maybe they'll give it to JP, or maybe they'll just keep giving it to only global and not JP. I, I don't know that those things really matter so much as much as just getting the games unified is the most important thing. I, I, I think it's just going to lead to much more sort of happiness for a lot of players that everything is coming same time to both versions. This is only a good thing and not a bad thing, right? Um, I I have not really seen too much negativity around this. I'm sure there's going to be people, some, some people who don't like it, but um, this is just good overall. Now, we have the Dokkan now here. Um, they did announce some stuff. Um, they announced that... Uh, where is he? There's... Okay, so there's going to be a link level event. We always love that. You know, those guaranteed link level events. Um, in here as well... Uh, we did see that this Trunks is going to be getting a Dokkan Awakening. This Trunks came out in 2016, so it's good that he's getting his Dokkan Awakening. Of course, you know, they spend the whole long thing around Vegito and Fusion Zamasu and, like, you know, how crazy the characters are, all the good stuff. Um, but then, oh, oh then, then, of course, they talk about, uh, you know, Infinite Zamasu. There's going to be some, some new summon animations, which is fire. Um, we get to that, but where's, yeah, okay, okay. Whew. Unification of operation schedules. Um, so everything is going to be sort of happening at the same time on Global and JP. Um, again, this is best case scenario. Now we can sort of discuss how they might do that. Um, I, I have some ideas, but um, let's see what uh, my boy Toadski here is saying. Um, so Toadski is a huge One Piece Treasure Cruise guy. This is um, a gacha game that's made by uh, Bandai as well. Um, and they did actually have their merger. So um, Toadski had made a, a tweet. I asked him to give me as much info as he possibly could. And we could go over this and I could sort of give my thoughts of what I think is going to happen. So let's take a look at this. So um, when op so this is One Piece Treasure Cruise, merge timelines. They ended up dropping stuff quick to catch up. Eventually, before New Year's that year, they dropped all leftover characters needed for Global in one massive banner with amazing step-ups. All right, so we're going to look at this in two seconds. So, dropping stuff quick. I don't think it would be very tough for Global to catch up if they would just do, like, shave one week off everything, right? So, you know, you know we have kind of like the typical release schedule. You literally just shave one week off of that. And I mean, by next year's worldwide or something like that, global could easily be caught up. They could have everything. It, I, I, I don't think it would really be that tough. I don't even think it would really feel like, oh my God, dude, they're shooting so much shit out at us. Like they just shave one week off every release. You know, JP is on normal schedule and then global just gets one week shaved off. And it's before you know it, bam, they're going to be right there. So I think that that is a great way to handle that. Now let's take a look at some of these images. Okay. So, um, obviously, I mean, Sugo Fest exclusive, right? The, uh, this is just going to be like the Dokkan Festival exclusive. So, this is kind of like a, a roadmap that they gave when they did this. Uh, merge Sugo Fest. So, then they just took... Damn. So, this would be like Dokkan is going to have this and they're going to have just like, you know, four Dokkan Fest. So, like, who is not out right now on Global? Turles... Super Trunks, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Omega, Int Spirit Bomb Goku, 
Is that it? Um Yeah, that's that's it, huh? That 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 those are those are the things that are not on global yet. Cause cause global just got kale. So like they would just throw like all those characters on like a crazy, massive, insane value banner. At that I, I, I think that would be very acceptable. Again, Turles, Super Trunks, Spirit Bomb Goku, LR Full Power, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Like imagine they're just all thrown on one huge banner, right? They just drop the, the Dokkan event stages and the story events. Like, just have, like, some huge, crazy celebration. And then, again, they kind of align and get things tight with Global and JP. I, I, I think that that could work pretty well. Um, Okay, so let's keep going here. Uh, Final Banner isn't saying they're worth it. So many new characters for gold players, and they baited hard before New Year's. They could do something similar, too. Oh, my God. Yeah, Toadski. So, here's what they do. They're going to catch Global up right before, like, I don't know. Tanabata next year or worldwide next year or something like that and then it's it's beast it's the real beast go on oh my god could you imagine that would make so much sense um okay here's some more info how they broke down how stuff would arrive on one piece uh, treasure coast global so again i mean it's we could kind of get the the general gist of it here um of them moving a little bit faster and stuff like that I mean, global, in terms of world tournaments, what what is global behind, like, one world tournament? Like, they haven't had the same amount of numbered world tournaments, but they're, they're very close. By the way, I think that this would be just them catching global up rather than, like, combining the servers or something like that is what I would assume, right? All right, so we have these. Okay, cool. Um. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. As part of the content merge, characters that appeared in the Japanese version from late August to December will be available for the English, French, Korean version users during the following period. So this is that mega step-up banner. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we could see something like that. Now, one other huge thing I think that is pretty important that we could talk about is the actual anniversary itself, as, itself right? So remember that JP Dokkan celebrates its anniversary at the end of January to the end of February, essentially, or start of March. Um, and then Global has their anniversary from the start of July to kind of like, you know, the middle of August, sort of. What I think Dokkan could very easily do is Global and JP celebrate JP's anniversary, right? So like, you know, the typical anniversary characters, both versions are going to be getting at the same time, January slash February, right? Then, when it comes to the typical Tanabata celebration, you know, you could kind of combine Tanabata and Global's anniversary. So then, you know, J the JP version, you know, and, and Global version, they'd be celebrating kind of like a dual celebration. Tanabata slash um, uh, the Global anniversary. I think, bam, that, that's literally all they have to do. Like, that was one of the main things people said, well, what are they going to do about the anniversaries? Both versions just celebrate both versions' anniversaries, man. It's not hard. I believe... Bleach Brave Souls, if I'm not mistaken, Bleach Brave Souls was like that, where both versions um, celebrated each other's anniversary. And I, I just think that absolutely, um, that's all they have to do. Like, that's that's the way they have to go, um, and it's going to be very, very good. Now, there was one last comment Omatsu made during the JP live stream. Um, I don't believe he said anything uh, close to this in the Dokkan now. Um, I believe they also said that, like, it's it's going to be Kodo, or Kodo's going to step away and it's going to be Omatsu. Yeah, Omatsu will be the one hosting these videos starting from the next one. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll, we'll see what's going to happen with Kodo. I think there's a good chance we could still see Kodo showing up and stuff like that, but Omatsu's going to be our main host. Uh, so he did say that he's not sure when exactly this is going to happen or they can't share details or whatever, just that they can't say yet. Um, I, just... As kind of like a guess myself, I would target one of the major celebrations next year. Um, next year's Worldwide, next year's Tanabata slash Global Celebration, maybe Golden Week. I, I think something like that does seem realistic. Um, as a global player, be prepared for them to speed things up 
it shouldn't really impact free-to-play players that much, I don't think, because I'm telling you guys to, to skip all these shitty banners anyway. Monthly Dokkan Fest and crappy LRs and stuff like that, you shouldn't be summoning on anyway. So it shouldn't really be a massive effect. Now, if they do one of these huge step-up banners where, you know, Turles and Super Chunks and all those types of characters are on it, that would be worth summoning on. Oh, yeah. Um, if that does actually happen. But let me know what you guys think, man. But I, I just think that this... This is, like, uh, probably th the best thing that we've heard in quite some time. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I just, I think that this is huge. This is huge. This is so big. I don't think that there's nothing they could have announced that would top this. Like, this is, like, uh, like the best thing I think Dokkan could have done. There's more, po like, you know, they could fix the friend system. They could do all types of positive things. But this is just, like, such a huge thing. Um, this is just going to be so healthy for the community, so good overall. We'll see how they're going to handle Pilaf Trove and certain other things, but generally, I think this is just going to be a huge positive change towards the game. I'm very excited. I think that this is incredible. This is just absolutely amazing. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.